We've been taught to think of the Earth as solid, stable, predictable, a spinning rock that's been doing its thing for billions of years without missing a beat. But lately, something feels off. The weather's gone haywire, earthquakes are on the rise, volcanoes are waking up, magnetic north is drifting faster than ever recorded. And despite everything we're told, none of it seems to add up. What if we're looking in the wrong direction? What if the real threat isn't above us, but below? Because deep beneath our feet is a layered, rotating machine, one we barely understand and even less control. And according to a growing body of evidence, it might not be as stable as we think. Imagine the Earth not as a rock, but as a gyroscope, the crust and mantle spinning around a churning molten core. Now imagine if that balance started to slip. This isn't science fiction, it's physics, and it might explain why entire civilizations have vanished without warning. Something's brewing beneath us, and no one's talking about it. At the center of our planet lies a system in motion, a liquid core, a solid mantle, a fragile equilibrium. Where they meet, at the D double prime layer, is where things get interesting. This is the clutch point between the inner engine and the outer shell. Normally they rotate together, but over time, heat and pressure build in this boundary. And when it reaches a tipping point, the mantle can slip. This is called core mantle decoupling, a planetary version of a blown transmission. Meanwhile, the core keeps spinning, the crust and mantle don't, and Earth's rotation begins to wobble, shift, or even flip. We see the same principle in physics. The Janabekov effect, a spinning object that flips violently when internal balance fails. Now scale that up, thousands of miles of crust suddenly displaced. Tsunamis, flooding, magnetic chaos, instant climate collapse. Most scientists reject this, not because they've disproven it, but because they haven't seen it happen, at least not in recent memory. But if the planet runs on cycles and we're overdue for a shift, then this isn't just theory. It's a warning. The deeper we dig, the more we find signs of a forgotten world. Flood myths from every continent, ruins buried beneath sand and sea, cultures that emerged suddenly, fully formed, then vanished. We call it legend, but what if it's memory? Around 5000 BCE, something wiped out nearly 95% of the male population on Earth. Geneticists call it the Y chromosome bottleneck but no one knows what caused it. Massive war, pandemic, or something far more destructive. We know sea levels surged. We know entire land masses like Doggerland and Sundaland sank beneath the waves. And we know that many of the world's oldest stories begin with catastrophe. These aren't isolated events. They're global. A crustal shift could explain all of it the floods, the frozen mammoths, the lost civilizations. History may not be linear, it may be cyclical, and we may be standing at the edge of the next turn in the cycle. So why isn't anyone talking about this? Because the narrative is already locked in. Carbon emissions, fossil fuels, climate change, you're the problem. The solution? Control. But what if the planet has its own rhythm, one we don't understand, and definitely can't control? The signs are all around us, a weakening magnetic field, shifting poles, unusual heat rising from the ocean floor, and a growing instability we're told not to notice. Core mantle decoupling doesn't fit the model, so it's excluded from the conversation. But truth doesn't care about consensus, and Earth doesn't care about our politics. Ancient builders may have left warnings in stone, but we've stopped listening. If the planet does flip again, it won't ask for permission.